In the previous training video, we learned that only one home group can be set up on a network. So if it's already been set up, you just need to get the password from anybody who's on the home group. Once you get the password, or if you're not sure a home group has been set up, then just go ahead and open up any folder on your computer, Exercises. Over here in the navigation pane, click on Network. Up here on the command bar, click on Network and Sharing Center. Let me go ahead and double click the header bar to maximize it. And then come down here and click on Choose Home Group and Sharing Options. When you click on it, if it doesn't say Create a Home Group, then one has already been created on your network. In which case, you need to find somebody on that home group and get the password from them. When you get it from them, it's going to be case sensitive. Then again, come back here, click Join Now. Again, choose the type of public folders you'd like to share. Pictures, music, videos, printers, documents. Well, printers isn't a public folder, but it allows other people to have access to your printers that are attached to your computer. Go ahead and click Next, and then type in the password. Again, it's going to be case sensitive, so it'll be something like this. And then click Next and see if we get success here. Yep, we have been joined. And click Finish and give it a few seconds to update. When it updates, the uh, little gold box disappears and, and then it shows what it's sharing of the public folders that are available in the libraries. The pictures, documents, music, videos, and then of course any printers that we have attached to our computer. And what do I mean by sharing public folders in the libraries here? Well, before I go out, if I don't want to share my printers, just uncheck it down below, click Save Changes. Of course, you can always come back here and recheck it and save, but let me close out. Go ahead and open up any folder on your computer, double click, like the Exercises folder. There are the libraries, and then when you expand any of these subfolders in the libraries, documents, you get the public folders. The public folders for documents, expand music for music and pictures and so on. So like I mentioned in an earlier training video, your public folders are accessible through the libraries or, of course, through the computer by coming over here and drilling down. C Drive, Users, Public, and there they are, Public Documents, Music, Pictures, Videos, the same over here, Public Documents, and then of course Public Music and Videos and so on. Now once I join the Home Group, I can come down here in the Navigation pane and click and turn down the arrow, and it looks like we have one other person on the Home Group. It doesn't display my computer, it just displays anybody else who's in the home group. And so far we just have one, Jason's laptop, I mean besides me, so there's two of us, but again, it only displays everybody else, not me. Unlike the network, when I click and expand that, it shows my computer, it shows Jason, where again the home group only shows the other people who have joined the home group, not me. So when I go ahead and I turn down Jason's laptop, well look what you get. You get the libraries basically where you can turn down the documents and he's got the public folders on his computer or the public documents that can be shared here public music and pictures and so on so to access those I can just go ahead and click on it and over here I can see everything that he's sharing in his public folders from the home group level without having going down to the network as we discussed in a previous training video on turning on public folder sharing now you may ask, why do I want to go ahead and join a home group if the public folders are just available here in the home group by turning it down when I can access the public folders through the network folder? Well, in the next training video, I'm going to go over this a little bit more in depth, but you can select a folder, let me close out, like exercises, as you recall in an earlier training video. Then when you right click and you go to share with, remember how I went over and down to specific people and bypassed the home group here? Well. I can choose specific people and click on the drop down arrow and choose everyone on the network or the home group, only those people who have joined that home group community. So you can see, you can eliminate, let me click cancel, anybody else who's not part of that delete home group community who hasn't joined it. So you want to watch the next training video so I can show you that a little bit more in depth.